Hello guys, welcome back once again. And in this video, we will be seeing how to use Ajax in JSP. Uh, before moving into that, we need a jQuery libraries, which can be downloaded either from direct either directly from the jQuery site or else we can use a CDN like uh, Google. So I'm just going to use a CDN. CDN is nothing but the content delivery network. So I'm just using this CDN for a project. In this what we are going to do is I have already demonstrated you about retrieving the data using serverless. So we have that. So I'm just going to get this particular data in the JSP and I'm just going to display it in right below the same page using Ajax. So let's move into the code. Okay. So uh, the script we need to play the jQuery so I'm just taking the jQuery library from the CDN ok now let us create a button view data which calls on click display data ok so this is the JavaScript function it will be called when I click this video data button ok now let's move on to the function and just add a descriptor function so uh, we can use the method uh, provided in jQuery dollar dot ajax so there are different set of parameters the neither parameters or URL URL list the servlet name view data so a uh, viewing data I have just already explained in the video if you are not watch it just go and check it out so type as get Okay. We have function callback as success and error. So in success function data then error and one more function callback as error. Okay. Let me add a div here so that I can place the data once I get it. ID equal to data. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the data response right over in this div. So we can use dollar data dot html. So this function will return the HTML. If you set the data here, it will set the HTML right over there. If it creates an error, it will set the error there. So that's it. Let's move on and test the code. Okay, let me run the project. So we the name of process. So you can see this particular data has been retrieved from this particular server view data. So I'm just selecting the name, email, mobile from this particular table and just forming the HTML and I'm just sending it back so this Ajax call will get the data and set it to this particular div that's it guys uh, this is just what I was want to show you an overview uh, how to use Ajax so that uh, you can able to do your further implementation you can also use the post method to send the data to the server and you can get it processed that's it guys 
Thank you. That's like a friend.